Hey everyone, Sir Terry here again. Today's gonna be our third and last video showcasing some of the paint smoke review. Again, if you're just new to our channel, we usually do three videos with every leader. We also covered the same deck list about a month and a half ago, so technically we have six videos on the channel for you to watch review gameplay if that's what you want to watch and what you want to learn. Today's matches are gonna be a little bit more against off-meta decks, right? We had the Moira two days ago, we had the Sakasuki and the Ryu Mirror yesterday, and today we're kind of finishing up with a game against a purple green Doflamingo, a game against a red purple Luffy, and a game against a, against a red Sorrow player. So again, pretty off-meta, but that way you kind of get to see how this deck can do even against things that are not what we're used to going against. So hope you enjoy the games coming soon, and if you do, Make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy the games. In this match, we're going against Purple Green Doflamingo. Okay. All right. I I dig it. I'm going to go second just so I didn't get their stuff early on. Wow. We have this pudding, but we don't have anything else. I mean... That's greedy, right? Keeping pudding is greedy. Yeah, we, we, we that, okay, we got the pudding anyways, and now we have a better hand, right? So we got the pudding, and we got a better hand on top of it. So I'm, I'm winning here. Uh, we'll trash you, and we'll get you right away. Look at that. So cool. We get the Riju right away. We'll trash Niji. Play the Riju, get value. Pudding gets to search twice. Sugar. What's the second one? If we get that little Niji, Trebol. Okay, ooh, Trebol. Trebol. Huh, I, I, I should have probably taken that, to be honest. Yeah, I should have probably taken that. Um, Do I ever play Judge? Like, am I ever playing Judge in this matchup? Probably not anytime soon. I can't bottom deck Ichijis. I cannot bottom deck this Ichijis. I think I have to just take it like this. Yeah, I have to take it like this. We'll go for five here. Get rid of one of them. We'll go like this. Let's get my value. Draw, draw. We don't get anything else. Um, maybe we play this Kaya. Perfect. So we can go here. And here, and we can also go like this now. And we'll grab the Ichiji. That was a good Kaya. That was a great Kaya. So, Trebol is interesting. When it gets another sugar. So, they found two sugars here. They're going to attack this for seven, I'm guessing. Six. Seven. Do we give it? Do we give them? Do we give them this counter and keep this Ryu alive? Do we need the Ryu to be alive? Do we need this Ryu to be alive to put pressure into the opponent? Because something's going to get rested here with sugar no matter what. I want to be able to KO the sugar, which the Kaya will be able to do so. If I give up this counters now. Let's keep her alive. Let's keep her alive. Get another Riju. So I guess we can go here. That's my Niji. Right? So now we can play the Niji. The opponent's going to get value from the sugar to rest it. Or... How do we want to do this? I don't think it's ready. I don't think it's time to play this EGG just yet. So I think we go here. We go here first into the baby five. If the opponent wants to save her, be my guess. They're going to go Punk Gibson and rest this. So they want to save the Kaya. Okay, so this is fine then. We can still go here, KO this, and then just attack the baby fire the sugar. Yeah, so we just go like this. You can rest the Niji. We get to just KO your baby five anyways.
And I uh, wish I had like a two drop, right? That's what I was looking for. I was hoping for like a two drop, but we didn't get it. So I guess I'll just smack this. Yeah, the opponent has another sugar. We know that. So the opponent has one more sugar. So they can rest. They're going to go Monet. This can let them rest my unit again. So this is just going to be... They're just going to stall out for the Dolphy turn. But that's where the Ichijis will come into play. They go for 7. 8. 9. Okay, yeah. I'll... I'll you have nine. I'll let you get the nine. I'll, I'll let you get the nine. Let, let's let's be real. Let's be real. So, Pony goes to nine mana, uh, nine energy, nine mana, nine dawn, next turn. It's funny how I haven't hit their life, they haven't hit my life. I don't know that we actually get to play this pudding, this game. So I think I'm okay letting it go. We can go here, attack them for seven multiple times. Sure. I guess we'll go like this. Go six, go seven, play the Ichiji. Force the opponent to have to block. Get, let's get them low enough. I mean, with all these Ichijis in my in my hand, I think it should be okay. Now, we only have one Ichiji, though. So the opponent gives me the whoever becomes justice, blah, blah, blah. We'll go like this. Turn this, play this. It's a matter. We'll attack for seven. I guess I wish I actually kept the judge at this point, to be honest. Although, I don't have a lot of great stuff for judge anyways. The problem is, again, the Dofi's coming. The Dofi is coming. But on the Dofi turn, for ball, I mean, I guess I can just replay the Niji, or I can just... Sugar. Sugar is there to rest one of my units next turn. I'm down to take damage here. There's my Judge. There's my Judge, Yuri, and Executioner. Let's trash this. We got a Riju. If we play Riju, we will not be able to play Judge next turn. Uh, we don't have Ichijis, right? So we're not playing this Ichiji anyways. So we're only going to play... If we play both Riju and Ichijis when we have trouble. I don't think we actually play... So we can go 7, 2... Seven, three. I, I feel like I need to play both because the opponent's just gonna play their their Dofi. So I need to have that extra unit on the field. But I also want to just like I can't get the draw with this Riju, anyways. This thing's gonna get locked down, and, and that's my concern because I don't have a second Ichiji. We'll go seven. Opponent takes it. We have to get rid of that sugar, but the opponent's just gonna rest this Kaya, right? I guess we'll go like this. Let the opponent rest the Kaya. They're gonna rest this. Yeah, so they're gonna rest this so that they can play Dofi. The problem is that even though they rested this, we still get value. If the opponent tries to save this sugar, we can just KO her anyways. We can also just straight up... Wow, yeah, so we can just KO her anyways. One, two, three. I have too many cards for this freaking Riju. Yeah, I have too many cards for this Riju. Uh, let's go here first. Let's KO here. We'll draw. Don't want to do that. Obviously. Uh, we, do we just attack them for like 9? Or do we just go for 5 and develop like an Ichiji or something? Maybe we just straight up play this Riju. 
Here we go for five here. Straight up play this region. Just have another 5k unit on the field. I'm okay with the opponent countering here. Yeah, they like if they want to take the damage, they were going to take it no matter what, right? Let's go here. That's a 5k unit. So this is now... I know I lose out on the draw. But the opponent really has to just play Dofi here. Oh, it's just Kid. It's just freaking Kid? So again, this is where this Ichiji is in trouble because the Ichiji is still there. The opponent goes for Sugar. If we had another Ichiji, I would feel so much safer here. Please KO this. No, they went they went they went after the right unit. Um I guess we'll go like this to be honest. Just keep it alive. They go after my life this time. Yeah, let's just get the draw. If I get the Ichiji, I'm able to make this down to two and then be able to try to attack into it. So I guess we'll go like this. We don't get the Ichiji, unfortunately. Man, I'm not hitting what I need. Do I have every kid in here already? We don't have every kid. We don't have every kid. And again, this guy here, it means that we're not really getting any value. I guess we can just straight up try to kill it. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's gonna be a, yeah, let's just go like this. That's gonna be a 4K event that takes into 12, a 2K and a 1K. Opponent goes, goes for this, right? So they get to rest it, but they don't get to do anything else here. Um, We could just press OK here. Opponent's not allowed to play Dofi next turn. If they play Dofi, we still have two attackers to finish the game with. We're literally going to be a, nine, a, a, eight down, a 10 down, by the way. Yeah, so they can't play Dofi. They have to go for Queen. We're literally a 10 freaking done because we can't find this stupid Ichiji. This can continue resting my 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 uh, Riju. I think we just go Judge. Yeah, that's the Dofi. I think we just go Judge. Yeah, the opponent gets two blockers. Uh, as long as they don't KO... I mean, we don't even have the Jonji. Okay. We are equal done. So we still get all the effects of our cards. Opponent has not that much stuff. They refuse to kill my stuff. When I attack, they're going to be able to rest this Riju. We go for eight. Yeah, so I guess we just go here first. Our uh, opponent has a bunch of 6k, so I guess we'll go here. This is gonna force a card out of their hand. I have to always attack with this first, right? This is gonna force a card out of their hand. If I had the Ichiji, I would be so much better because I would have more rushers. But again, we're just not getting them. Went and gave me the, the blocker there. Okay. I guess let's throw this away. We get it. Does that change anything? I can play the judge, right? I can play the judge, trash it. So I can go what I was talking about. We can go six, six, seven, play judge and do everything. Yeah, so we go six. 
Even if the opponent has Dolphy, we win the game because we have too many attackers next turn. Opponent's going to have to give me cards here or the blocker. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess they had the second kid, so they could have stalled out a little bit. But unfortunately for the opponent, I just have too much pressure, right? So at this point, I'm able to attack for six again, right? Like we did, six. Then we attack for seven. Then once it's all said and done, I just play judge. And now I can get, I, I play judge, I discard this Ichiji, and I don't know, discard like a Jonji. And I'm able to get, yeah, I need to discard the Jonji because I actually don't have it in my trash. And I'm able to get all four kids and all my units will be active, right? Actually, that's not true because once I attack with the Ichiji, the opponent can just, no, because the opponent already used the Chabol ability on the Kaya. So yeah, I will have all my units active except for the Ichiji that we'll attack into. So the opponent has to survive two 7k attacks here. And then next time we're still going to have five units at, at four units active, except for my leading the HG, which means that even if the opponent has the Flamingo, it doesn't matter. If they have the kid, then we just do what we did with the first kid that we just have like a big attack into it. So GG's. In this match, we're going against Red Purple Luffy. Something tells me that this is going to be a really bad matchup for us because it's really hard for us to deal with this 6k leader. Or at least really hard for us to really put a lot of pressure into them. Now we do get the stage, so that's always nice. I need to probably grab this. It sucks letting go of this Niji though. I would like to have this Niji in my hand as well. But letting go of this Ichiji is just as bad too. Let's go like this. I'm gonna I might regret that decision. Okay, never mind, because we just get we just get another one, so we're good players. So we can trash this Ichiji next turn, and we can, I mean, so we can trash the Niji. Oh, that's an 8k hit already. Jeez, man. Jeez. Jeez, Luis. Do we ever have to play for this Judge? Like, do I play this now, or do I just go here first? It's weird, because, like, if I do this EGG and not really attacking into them. So I guess I'll go here for six. Just try to eat up a card from their hand. And then we'll just play this Niji. Even if we're not getting value from it. Even if we're not getting value from it, it's at least... Um, it's going to at least be a 6k attacker that can put pressure into the opponent. So... Next turn, we have enough to play Ichiji. Okay, the opponent's going to just trash two cards. That's fine. They trash two cards that I really don't care about. Um, I did forget about this law blocker, to be honest. I haven't played against purple in a while. Do we counter out of this? Nah. Nah. Countering is for chumps. We're just going to attack 6k twice. Ah, uh, three times, sorry. Yeah, we're just going to attack... We're just going to attack three times with 6k. You're just going to continue putting pressure. But the opponent has three life still. They have more life than I do. And they're supposed to be the, the deck that doesn't have life, right? We're going to trash this guy because he has no counter. I guess we'll get the Riju for now. We, it's not like we have a little Riju just yet. We can go here. Put it down here. Yeah, yeah okay. I guess I see the game plan. So we're going to go. Ooh. Let's just go ahead and do it now, just in case that the opponent cannot block with the uh, with the law, right? So they saw that the opponent cannot block with the law, so we can go six. Yeah, they're going to block it anyways. I just didn't want them to block and counter to save it, forcing me to have to attack into it again. If the opponent has a second law, they can have a second law. Give me a 2k. I know you have them. Thank you. A second law is going to be a problem. It's not a second law. It's just going to be ramping up. So the opponent's, the opponent's close to their white beer or 10 cost, right? If opponent attacks for 8, this is an easy 2k, 1k, right? Even puts the Riju on the field. We have another Ichiji here already. We have a Jonji in here. So I guess I'll just throw away... But we also have everything else. We also have the we have everything that we need in the trash, except for another blue guy. So I think I'm just gonna throw this guy here. I wish I could 
Right, okay, so if we go here, we get to refill our hand. We can still attack for six. Six. Eight. Maybe we go eight twice. Maybe we go eight twice instead of six. I guess I can also just play this Jonji, to be honest. I can also go Jonji and Ryu and attack for six multiple times, like I've been talking about, right? So we go here. Just have this Jonji in the field. It does put me down on Dawn, which is a little bit annoying, but let's just... Opponent is giving me 2k counters anyway, so we might as well. There's going to be two cards, which opponent... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. When it goes to eight, they go to nine. So this is telegraphing to me a Luffy. So I need to just, I need to have this blocker, right? Yeah, okay. So the point doesn't even have Luffy, but if they had the Luffy, my idea was gonna be each, I mean, it's gonna be Riju and Jonji, right? We play the Riju, we get to draw three cards. We play the Jonji, oh, sorry, the little Jonji, we get to draw, we get to have a blocker. So we have blockers and we will have one, two, three, four, plus three more cards. We have seven cards in our hand, which means that we probably don't die no matter what the opponent has, right? Because even if they have the Luffy, we still have two life. So it was a little bit rough at first, but we actually ended up managing to get there. So GG's. In this match, we're gonna get Zoro. Okay, we have the stage. We literally have everything, right? We have the stage, we have the Riju. So we'll be able to like fill up our hand. We have the Ichiji. Uh, this is a game where the Niji could actually be pretty nice because you can KO their two costs or less units. Uh, so I guess we'll go German Kingdom and go German 66 to begin with. Next time we can go Riju, fill by our hand back up. But when it gets the pistol. Yeah, so we'll go like this. Ooh, I guess we'll have the Sora. Almost with that. Almost with that. Alright, that's our that's our Niji, right? That's our Niji. So let's just grab it now. Uh the other options weren't that great anyways. I'm probably gonna go read you here first though. Unless the opponent just lets me attack with this Ichiji, but I think I don't think they will. I think they're just gonna attack me here for sets, right? Ooh, they are gonna attack the Nami. I'm cool with this. What am I missing? We counter here. We discard this Riju. We okay, uh, go after the Nami, right? Oh, we don't get the... We don't, we don't get the little Niji. I guess we'll grab the Jonji for now. Maybe we actually get the little Jonji and are able to play it. Um, We could go Kaya. But I kind of feel like I want to have the 2k counters. I guess let's go here first. We'll play this. Activate this one first so that you draw. We get another stage. We don't get the little the little uh the little dude. Maybe we do actually go Kaya. Honestly, maybe we actually go for Kaya. Try to fit our hand a little bit more. Yeah, let's go here and here, right? We still don't get the baby one. Oh man, this this is rough. We got another Sora then. We just attack for five. Just kind of clear the opponent's board. Maybe this is what I need to do. Maybe I just need to clear their board for now. We don't have the little Ichiji. Uh, the little Niji, sorry. We can clear their board very easily. We have plenty of counters. Even the Kaya can get in there, if anything. When it gets Chopper. Chopper blocker, okay. That's so useless, right? In this meta with black and stuff. Yeah, this is really useless because you can just... That just gets KO'd by everything. The opponent can start getting life here from this Sanji. So even though I'm not attacking, the opponent is still taking life. They choose not to. Which is surprising. So I guess I'll give you this 1k. Let's put ourselves in a situation where we're not just straight up taking too much damage either. So they're going to go for 5 here again. Let's give you 1. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just going to keep myself at 3. 
I'm gonna keep myself at three here. This is frustrating. This is so frustrating. I guess we'll have we'll have to go for this Ichigi, right? We'll have to go for this Ichigi. I don't want to trash anything else here though. Like even this Riju feels not great to trash. I guess I'll give up one of the 2k counters. That's the Niji. So we have the Niji now that I've been looking for. But we don't have another Riju. So I think it's probably still better to just go for Ichiji here. Uh, we can actually make it so that we can attack this with the Kaya. Yeah, we'll give this minus two. We'll attack this for zero into zero. So some zero into zero action here. What a cool block. It's going to force me to have to attack into their blocker, by the way. They don't block, so I guess we'll go here. Uh, we'll go for six. Could I just probably attacked the for five and being okay, but I do want to have one head go to their face. Let's start getting them down in life. Get the trigger. We know the opponent has a jet pistol, right? The moment that the jet pistol this reads you, we'll be able to go the little read you. We have a card that we can discard here. We have this Ichiji to. I do have to make sure that I don't go to zero life. Because the moment I go to zero life, opponent can have access to the Diablo Jambe or the Rushers. So, we can kill the Nami, or we can bounce this Brook back to their hand. Either way. I think I'm okay going down to two. Or not, probably one is where I need to start being careful. I want this Ryu to die. Die, Ryu, right? Or I need to get the second one so that I can refill my hand more times. When it gets the other jumper, so yeah, so they go for the unblockable, but that's only a 6k attack. Okay, and you killed my Riju for me, so that's cool with me. So now we can go Riju, and we can go Niji, and refill our hand up. That leaves me with one done to play with. We can KO the Nami, attack for seven. Yeah, um. Let's attack. Uh, let's attack for six. I should have used this first, by the way. I should have used this first because if I get a German 66, I would have actually used that down for this. Okay. Go here. I wish I could grab you. Every time I see pudding, man, I wish I could grab her. We'll go like this. We'll go like this. Uh, let's go here first. Play this read you. Get a bunch of draw. Let's go here second. Play this guy. Uh, KO your Nami. I mean, if I KO the Nami, the opponent just gets Pally with Nami again. So maybe we just send that. Oh, I forgot to attack with my Ichiji. I forgot to attack with my Ichiji. I just missed out on 7k for no reason. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Oopsie daisies, my friend. This is fine because we can attack it for 0 0. We have the Jonji blocker. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? I was... I messed up twice, right? Like... We got KO her. Right? I don't know what I'm talking about. We got just KO her. And being okay. We know that the opponent has a jet pistol in their hand. And now we know they have dead brook. So we know everything that the opponent has. We can just counter here. Uh, we'll take the 9, I guess. Sure. We'll take the 9. Sit, sits. And I guess we'll just work on killing their units. We'll go here. Here, here. We're gonna have to take this damage as well. Like, I don't think it's worth it for us to uh, not take that. Yeah, I, I just... I honestly threw a couple of different ways so far. <laughs> But I will ignore that. 
Yeah, we have another one already in here, right? We don't have another big Ichi, another big Niji. So we can get the blocker, which is just going to get hit by the jet pistol. But at least it's forcing the jet pistol out of their hand. We can play the second Niji to KO the Magra, and then the opponent's only going to have... It, it will leave the opponent with only their leader to attack us, to attack us with. So we go like this. We know that the opponent only has Brook in their hand. The other one is a jet pistol. So we have one down to play with. So we have one down to play with. Yep, there it is. Uh, I guess we might as well just go six and just go eight with this Ichiji, right? Uh, I'm attacking first just to make sure that we don't get hit by a uh, jet pistol from trigger so yeah let's go out here kind of sucks that i'm gonna have to play it for my hand yeah it kind of sucks that i have to play for my hand we're gonna ko that right we're gonna go here we're gonna tell the opponent go ahead and play your play your jet pistol we can always bring back another blocker so it has to be Jet, jet Pistol. The opponent has to play the Jet Pistol here. So that's a whole four down. Otherwise, they run into this blocker. And then after this, I just need to make sure that I kill the next turn, right? Like, how is the opponent surviving next turn? Oh, no. Especially, yeah. Especially if you give me this, right? So now you literally have... I know everything that's in your hand. So you just lose next turn to my Fitz Y board. Even with three life. Even the three life is not going to be enough. They also whip the curly the time anyways. Ouch. Everything is going bad. From bad to worse for the opponent. Yeah, this is the jet pistol on the G as we expected. They can attack me for seven and I can just counter out. Um... We want to play around another Jet Pistol for life, so we got to give all our cards an extra down to keep them at 7k. Yeah, so they go here. Uh, we'll go like this and like this. So we want to give one down here, one down here, because remember, Jet Pistol KOs anything with 6k or less. So now everything is at 7k. We attack with the Ryu first, because she can just attack for 5, right? Then we attack for seven. Then we attack for another seven. And the opponent either takes the life or has to give me two cards. They take the life, which means that this one here can attack for 11. And the opponent has no amount of combination that can save them. And there you go. GG's. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games of Ryu today and over the last three days. Uh, I wish our solo play was a little bit better. I feel like that was more like not really a showcase of how this deck can go against against Sorrow, but I kind of still try to do as much as I could to kind of showcase how you can remove their units with your Niji, or you can just kind of swing into them and get a bunch of cards. We have the blockers, etc. Right? Uh, the other two games I think were a little bit better, right? Against that Red Purple Luffy, we just ended up getting everything that we needed, and they also didn't get a lot of things that they needed, right? They didn't have like any of their big bombs, even though they were like ramped up. And against that uh, Doflamingo player, it was like super long game, right? But we were able to just get rid of that kid and never give the opportunity for the opponent to have like a really good Dofi. And even though they didn't have it in their hand, it's still important to you, for you to play around that. And that's kind of what happened. And we had it, we even had ourselves set up for a potential judge. It's a little bit awkward how we couldn't find the second Ichiji for so long, but still, we kind of got what we needed to do to be able to get through that game. So that's going to be it for the review showcase. If I look at my schedule, I try to plan out like my videos like a month ahead of time, to be honest. So the next leader on my schedule is going to be Red Purple Law. So we're going to be playing some Red Purple Law here over the next three days. So if you want to keep up to date to the, with that gameplay, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post one of these videos every single day. Enjoy your day.